Great stories are often hidden in plain sight. And in an unassuming shopping center in West Fort Worth, there's a saddle and boot repair shop where the boots lining the wall all have a story. And so do the hands that give them new life. When you step inside Cowboy Boot and Saddlery off of Camp Bowie West, you're greeted by the smell of leather and lacquer. Good morning, ma'am. How are you this morning? And a friendly welcome from Tommy. His shop repairs boots and saddles and everything leather. You're bringing life back to the boots. But what makes this shop special? A lot of our boot makers are passing away. Are the stories hidden in plain sight? And when you get a chance to buy a pair of them, you know, it, it's something to be proud of because you know they had a history in boot making. They worked all their lives building boots. And you know, now you own a piece of their history, their life. Tommy knows each of them by heart. This fella that builds this boot right here, he's out in West Texas. I like this boot right up here. This is a custom made boot by Paul Bond. It's shark on the bottom and camel on the top. Mm. But it's just your typical cowboy boot. Across the shop. Once that's hammered through. There's Carl Mott. I mean, I can start something that was just a piece of leather and, and work it till it's a finished product. An expert leather worker. Keeps me busy, it keeps my mind working, keeps me thinking of the next project, the next thing. His works of art, crafted entirely by touch. Almost 30 years now that I've been uh, blind. Skills he learned when he could see. I was addicted to the smell and the, the idea that I could put something together and hopefully make it look good. A lot of mistakes, but uh, finally figured out that I could actually line up the, the little tool, line it up correctly with my fingers instead of the eyes. A blind leather worker. I've been, you know, treated like sighted people, just one of the guys, and that's a blessing too. And a collector of old boots. And I love history, you know, especially something to do with the old cowboys. Finding purpose in a dying art. A lot of people say, well, what difference does it make? It makes a lot of difference to me. You know, I've, I've been on them old ranches, worked on them. Uh, I love a good cow herd. You know, if you've never been there and never worked it, and took care of a bunch of cows, you don't know where I'm coming from. But if you have, you know exactly. It, it comes from your heart. And if home is where the heart is, you'll find no shortage of it here. People that do leather work and walk into a leather shop, they're like, yeah, this is home. What I absolutely love about this story is I have visited this shop for years. I have seen Carl working yeah. in the back and had no clue this whole time that he is that completely blind. blind. Yeah. Uh, so the fact that they're perfecting this art is so cool. Carmen, I know you mentioned uh, I you would don't like have any cowboy boots. boots yeah. So you can actually go buy the cowboy boots at this store. But I actually Look what Madison got you. had no Tommy way. pick you out a pair. Really? So this is a pair that Madison. he picked up at an estate sale. A gentleman in Lampasas used to own these. Uh, they are Larry Mahan black label Thank calfskin you. boots. Uh, again, Tommy basically goes to estate sales. He has buyers that, yeah. that acquire these boots for mm -hmm. him. He, he makes them back into what these are. But they are original soles, original heels. Madison. So there is your first Thank pair you. Did you know of this authentic whole time? cowboy I might have. You knew. <laughs> I might have known about that a little bit. Bit. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and, I mean, again, every every girl that moves to Texas, every guy that boots. moves to Texas. Y'all, I've been here about 11 years. I don't have a pair yet. I didn't know this <laughs> we'll or else I would have gotten him a pair too. But again, I mean, welcome to Texas. Thank welcome you. to DFW. I We're appreciate so glad this. you're here. And I'm glad you get to, to have Thank a little you. little taste of Western. I'll be like too. Steve Pickett and wear my boots on the chest. <laughs> I could be as tall as you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love it. it. Thank All you. right. Well,